Love makes us do some mysterious things. It has mystified poets and scientists alike for generations. What is it that makes us dress up for our dates? What makes us take so much effort to get to know a person? And what is it that makes us curious about that person? At what point in our evolutionary history did we start falling in love for long term, unlike most of our primate relatives? So far, research into the brain mechanisms that cause us to fall in love has been limited. We know that the hormone oxytocin helps us feel love. But why do we behave the way we do when we fall in love? A team of researchers from Australia has found that there is a strong link between an ancient neural pathway that motivates us to seek out new experiences and romantic love. In this episode, I talk about the latest science behind romantic love and why it scrambles our rational brains. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. It is thought that romantic love first emerged some 5 million years ago after we split from our ancestors, the great apes. The topic of love in romantic relationships is riddled with definitional inconsistency and ambiguity. The concept can mean different things to different people and as our societies evolve, so do our ideas of relationships. Researchers say that in the discipline of biology, romantic love tends to refer to the period of intense feelings that often accompanies the early stages of romantic relationships. It is associated with the range of cognitive, emotional and behavioral activities in humans. Cognitive activity of romantic love includes a desire to get to know another person and to be understood by them. Emotional activity includes being attracted to the person, negative feelings when things don't go your way, a longing for the person to reciprocate your feelings and desire to be in a committed relationship. Behavioral activity includes actions towards trying to understand the other person's feelings, going out of the way to learn about the other person, doing things for the other person and maintaining physical closeness. Romantic love often sparks at the early stages of a relationship and can last months or years and for some many decades. But when you are in love for a long time, it is not the same as the rush of new love. Long term relationships are not characterized by a preoccupation with the partner. So while that initial flush of love and long term steady relationships have similar neural mechanisms, they are not really identical. Romantic love is most strongly associated with neural activity insistence associated with reward and motivation, emotions, sexual desire and social cognition. But it is also linked to the brain areas that are involved in attention, memory, mental associations and self-representation. So people who are experiencing new love also have heightened activity in the reward and motivation centers of their brains. One biological mechanism that is thought to play a role in the promotion of behavior is the Behavioral Activation System or BAS. This system is also thought to be linked to the brain's reward and motivation circuitry. In very simple terms, the Behavioral Activation System is like the part of your brain that is cheering you on to try and seek out rewards, excitement and new experiences. It is driven by the pleasure you get from things like delicious food, exciting adventures and social connection. The BAS works as a system that involves both inputs and outputs. Inputs are stimuli that serve as cues for goal-directed behavior. They include life events involving achieving your goals. Behavioral activation system outputs include energy, confidence, interest, pleasure in rewards and potentially increased interest in taking part in social activities and exploring new things. People experiencing romantic love display a range of cognitions, emotions and behaviors which suggest heightened BAS activity. These include increased reward valuation, willingness to expend effort to gain that reward and not being satisfied with success. People experiencing romantic love demonstrate an increased reward for valuation of the loved one. That is, the perception of the loved one changes and idealization ensues, as does the belief that the loved one is the perfect romantic partner for them. People experiencing romantic love also appear to demonstrate a willingness to expend more effort to gain reward. 
When we begin to like a person, we engage in dating or courtship, which basically is a series of signals and behaviors that serve as a means of assessing potential partner quality and their willingness to invest in a relationship. In new love, people reorder daily priorities, make themselves available to the new person and take steps to make themselves desirable by changing how they dress, behave, giving up bad habits or sometimes even lying about what they value. People experiencing romantic love demonstrate a lack of satiety in response to success. So, for example, even when a person in love feels emotionally close to their loved one, there can be a desire to be even closer. A sense of not being in control is a feature of romantic love. People want to spend more and more time with their partner, obsessively stalk them on social media. More generally, people experiencing romantic love experience confidence and increased energy over prolonged periods. All of these associations prompted the research team to delve into the link between the behavioral activation system and romantic love. Researchers surveyed about 1,556 young adults who identified as being in love. The survey questions focused on the emotional reaction to their partner, their behavior around them and the focus they placed on their loved one above all else. The team also created a scale that can help researchers measure someone's BAS sensitivity to a loved one. What the researchers found was that the brain evolved to use old neural pathways for romantic love. Instead of increasing general sensitivity to any external stimulus, the BAS generates a particular importance for a person, which in turn increases sensitivity to that person. The concept of attaching importance to a person and sensitivity are fundamental to better understanding of the mechanisms of romantic love. Because according to the researchers, this is probably at the core and the very beginning of the ev evolution of romantic love. Humans' tendency to pair for life may have evolved after a mutation was first able to initiate this step of BAS, activating sensitivity to a particular person. The study shows that romantic love is linked to changes in behavior as well as emotion. It also is the first to link BAS with romantic love. Researchers have long known the role that oxytocin plays in romantic love because we get waves of it circulating throughout our nervous system and bloodstream when we interact with our loved ones. But according to the researchers, the way that uh, loved ones take on special importance is due to oxytocin combining with dopamine, another hormone which is associated with feelings of motivation and satisfaction. The next stage of this research involves investigating the differences between men and women in their approach to love and a worldwide survey identifying four different types of romantic lovers. For example, the BAS is also associated with what researchers describe as heightened initial uh, hedonic response to success in the form of learning deficits. An instance of this is seeing obsessive pursuit, uh, usually committed by men, which happens when the person they love don't reciprocate adequately. The study points out that men in particular have a tendency to misinterpret politeness or friendliness for sexual interest. Such a false positive bias is potentially present in people experiencing romantic love and can result in repeated attempts to court someone even when there are obvious indications that such efforts will be fruitless. That both females and males can be subject to ineffective courting demonstrates that the potent motivational effect romantic love can have is on both sexes. This according to the team is one BAS sensitivity component that warrants further investigation in people experiencing romantic love. This is Mohana Basu, Senior Assistant Editor at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.